When he came out, he was not the same. It was too much baggage he brought from Rikers with him. The memory of beatings, starvation. There was times when he wasn't even allowed to take a shower for two weeks. He was angry. He started getting real paranoid. And his life just spiraled from that. My name is Venita Browder, and I'm the mother of Khalif Browder. Khalif was on his way home. A police car stopped, and I'm assuming the guy who made the complaint was in the car and told the police that Khalif had robbed him of a backpack. Khalif kept saying, I don't know this guy. I didn't rob him. He was told that they were going to just go to the precinct to kind of sort things out. Well, that sorting out took three years. We went to court, we had a legal aid. And the legal aid told me from the beginning that it was a BS case. He said, don't worry about it, it's a BS case. But meanwhile, my son is being held at Rikers. He would tell me things when I would visit him about being beat. He told me, Ma, I gotta fight. If I don't, they're going to think I'm soft. I got to fight. All it did for Khalif was get him in more trouble and more days in solitary. Imagine being locked up 23 hours a day. This is your life. Four walls, that's it. He couldn't take it. They told him, we're going to break you. That's what they told my baby, that they're going to break him. And in reality, they did. At first, you could see he was relieved, that he was home, he could do what he wanted. He started Bronx Community, and he was doing okay, but then, I mean, he was really out of it, and he couldn't keep it up. He quit. He felt that everybody was out to get him. Everybody was a police plant. He stopped speaking to friends. He would get real angry, and then there were times where he would just, this look would come over him, and he would just, like, stare. It was a Saturday morning. It was just me and Khalif. And I hear him upstairs doing all this moving around. And I'm like, well, maybe Khalif is positioning the furniture to get comfortable. I didn't pay attention, because when Khalif is upset, he pace. He paces. Then all of a sudden, I heard this boom. I run upstairs. I didn't see anything. I ran into the next room. And the air, convi the air conditioning cover was kicked out and I just saw something hanging. I ran back downstairs, and as I opened the backyard door, Khalif was hanging there. I miss my son. I miss him so much. <laughs> 